Julia, as an expert in writing resumes and seeing resumes, what tips do you have for people in terms of writing their resumes when they're applying for a job, specific job? Uh, so the first tip I'll, I'll, I'll share is that it's important to target your resume. Too often folks have this kind of kitchen sink approach that they have everything on their resume, every job, and it may not even be relevant to the position that they're applying to. So the first thing is to really make sure you're targeting and focusing your experience to the job and the industry that you're applying for. Uh, the next thing would be to make sure that you're eliminating things that aren't valuable. So people still have objective statements, people have references upon requests, and a lot of these outdated and antiquated sections. Uh, this is the time where you can better leverage a summary section, a skill section, so make better use of the real estate on your resume. Um, one of the other things I'd also mention is incorporating keywords. So when you look at the job description, you see that there are plenty of keywords that they're looking for. So making sure that you're incorporating them, but don't just put them in for putting them in sake. Make sure that they flow and they, and they actually are, can describe your experience. You're not just kind of scattering them yeah. around your resume. So those are kind of the top three things. Yeah. And what about the cover letters? Because I feel that cover letters are mixed and matched. Some companies are asking, some they are not asking, some it's an optional. So what's your take about that? So my thought is if they're not asking for it, if it's not even an optional, if they're really just asking for your resume, just give them the resume. But if a cover letter is optional, it doesn't hurt to, sub to submit it. And the key tip for cover letters are to make sure that they're focused it focus to the job and the company. Trying to do the, cu the cookie cutter, boilerplate, everybody gets the same thing is unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. When companies read your cover letter, they wanna know why you picked them. So it's really important to highlight not just why you want the job, mm -hmm. but why you wanna work for them specifically. That's great, thank you for those tips. And for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of cover letters and resumes, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Julia.